Good evening and welcome to the latest episode. It's Sunday evening and uh, we've had an incredibly successful weekend. We've taken down the entire chimney, we've cleared a load of the brushwood, um, we have retiled in the place obviously where the chimney's supposed to go so we should be weatherproof and we've had a really good day and good weekend of clearing stuff out. Managed to do uh, two runs of uh, scrap metal to the uh, scrap metal guys out at Diets um, in Ford. They were absolutely fantastic. I've just loaded up Bertha with the, um, the the latest load that you can see in the back. So this is the last set of metal that we've got here. So Bertha is all ready to go. And uh, if we just take a quick look around the garden, we can see that we've managed to clear out a load of the, uh, the brushwood. So there's a massive amount of it gone uh, from this side of the house. And then if we come over here, there's masses gone as well. So we're really happy about that. You can also see that there's uh, quite a nice big pile of rubble. And this is due to the completely missing chimney. Now, unfortunately, I didn't manage to get any footage on the day when I was up there uh, taking the chimney down and uh, retiling. But it was an uh, incredibly successful day. We used some scaffolding from a... Uh, an online company called Lakeside Hire and it was uh, they were really great very very cheap it was like 150 quid all in for a week-long hire of a scaffolding tower And then we used our roofing ladder. Uh, once I was up there, secured it down. Um, I had my uh, fall arrest equipment on and uh, it worked really well. So as you can see, the chimney is now gone. So we've regained back this sort of uh, 18 inch square from the kitchen, which is gonna be really handy. I know it only looks like a small space, <clears throat> but when we're talking about designing the kitchen and uh, where we can fit cupboards, breakfast bars, all that sort of stuff. Uh, have, being able to have this space here actually uh, from this wall to the corner as a fully usable space without this uh, sort of 18 inch square uh, being lost to a chimney that's basically not gonna be used is fantastic. Now obviously it was in here before uh, because of the uh, oil burning uh, uh, boiler for the house, um, but that's not needed. Uh, as you can see in here, this which is our lunchroom, all of the white goods have gone now. And the conservatory, which has basically been the dumping ground for everything, is missing all of the metal that was all stacked up there. So we're really, really happy to have gotten rid of things like the big metal bath. The, um, uh, the big metal bath is gone now, all of the copper piping is gone, the sink from the utility, the white goods, so the leftover oven, the uh, dishwasher, washing machine, all those sorts of things have gone. Now, if we, uh, if we head upstairs, we can see now the impact that the missing chimney has made on this floor. So we have this lovely hole in the floor now, and then we have the uh, two joists holding up the, uh, where the frames were. And you can see now right up into the attic space. So the chimney came down here, it threw into the hole in the ground uh, down there, and it twists slightly sideways. So. Where we, have the, uh, where we have the wall here at the moment, we're gonna now rebuild this up here as a new partition wall, right up to the uh, lintels here to hold those in place. That's gonna be done this week. And uh, it's really, really open this space. And again, in the grand scheme of things, what it's gonna enable us to do is uh, bring the, all of the wall from the bathroom out uh, to make a level corridor, whereas before the bathroom had to go in because the chimney was there and you couldn't actually get enough walkway through for the hallway. So with uh, the chimney out now, this wall can go in line along there and the wall for the bathroom can be flat, which means we're gonna get more space for our bathroom and not have uh, as much sort of void space in the, uh, in the hallway as we had. Now, if we head on up here, we can see our crafty work upstairs. Here we go. And so this is the new and improved attic area, sans chimney. So uh, we blocked up the hole up the top there. And we've just got to block up 
where the old chimney was. We've got new floor joists that are going to be coming in here to support the uh, brand new room that's going in up here. And again, hopefully if we get planning permission, that will also include obviously the extension that's going to come through at the end there. So um, pretty exciting times. We, uh, if you can remember from the last episode, we had not an unsuccessful weekend last weekend, but a frustrating weekend last weekend. So it was really, really nice to be able to have a week today or a weekend this weekend where we've got loads done and it's six o'clock on Sunday now and we really haven't stopped the entire weekend. So it's been, it's been good. It's been a lot of work this weekend, but massive, massive improvements. Really happy. We've got a long weekend next weekend because it's bank holiday weekend. So uh, I'm going to be spending the next couple of days making sure that everything's in place for another really successful weekend next weekend. And uh, the <coughs> architect's plans from GMA Design should be with us tomorrow, the final ones, for us to sign off and we can start the planning permission process. So, yeah, fingers crossed, uh, it's all going, all going well. So I'll see you on the next episode. I'm now off for a massage and a, well, probably a shower first, hot bath, massage, ice bath, and then sleep. Lots and lots of sleep. Um, anyway, see you in the next episode.